No, no, I was just about to say that um, the further north we've gone, the harder it is to find the, the smoke dried pork. It's obviously something the Lao people do a lot of, um, less of the, um, the Chinese up here. And the, the last place we got it at, oh mate, is the best dried pork I've ever tasted. Really smoky. No, you know, he's just over here whacking the meat on the barbie. I know I say it all the time, guys, but just for those who are new to the channel or have missed any of those videos, always best when you're buying meat from the, no matter where you are, from street food vendors, whack it back on the coals, nuke it, nuke it. You don't, you don't know how long it's been sitting at. Like, it hasn't been sitting there for days. No, it was probably mooing yesterday or chooking. <laughs> you know what I mean. Winking or what is that? What have you got? It's chicken. Barbecue. Chicken. It was chicken. Yeah. A lot of the meat up here is freshly killed and sold at the markets that day. So, but just to be on the safe side, never been um, food poisoned in Laos yet. Good morning guys, how's things? How's things? Welcome to another episode of Now and Lao, up in the big north of Lao. Um, we're just packing up now, gonna try to make our way, it's probably about a five, six hour trip down to Boon Dai today. We are stuck at, still up in Utai after the debacle uh, from yesterday, being scanned by the Chinese lady. But. Uh, Nuni's just in there finishing, getting ready. I've got to um, rearrange some containers in this car. Still got some pillows in there. Just put, put them in the back and just keep all our stuff in the car then just so we aren't going between when we're fixing people up. Rearrange that and we're hitting the road. Look at this weather. It's We're pre running pretty late today. It's about 9.30, coming on to 10 o'clock, and the cloud is still low. Most of good news. Ever since those guys fixed our our switch there, our four B switch, four wheel drive switch, it hasn't been making that whirring noise that we could hear from the back end. It sounded like the back. End. Ever since they changed those bearings and fixed that switch, brought it back up, been going all right. It's we're just waiting for a bumpy road now to see if that CV joint in the right hand side flops around and makes a rattling sort of noise. See the length of those rifles then? <laughs> Take 
just for a look huh? through this village here. Oh, a lot of nice oh, new big okay, timber no. homes. Oh. Well, okay, it is an Aka. No, it's an Aka. Absolutely stunning, hey? What are they? Piers? Hello Sabadi, Benjung Day. Okay, they're made in here. Unless they're holeless pots turned upside down, I'm guessing some type of piers. Right. These have got markings on them too. Yeah. Dailu, Dailu, okay. Uh, it is very much so. Uh... Hello, it's a baby. <laughs> Very big homes in these villages, aren't they? In the dive. These guys have a lot more windows than what we're used to seeing. Uh, old mate over here making his um, tin cane twine for weaving. Again, a long handled knife that they hold steady against their body. Okay, obviously you can't just go by the stairs. It is a common common design, but these ones are open too. That must lock the house up. Nobody home, maybe, when you see that net, or it's to catch the little ones falling. There we go. It's Taylor. I love their villages. They're just so orderly, big, nice homes. Hello, Sabadi. And every everything sort of in its place. Uh, we'll go down and then walk around. It's, what's this? The Naiban. Okay. This is Ban Sien Fa. Sien Fa. Yeah. Maybe another way, go to another village. I might have got. Hello. Ben Jung Day. Sabadi. Sabadi, look, look. What? 1936. What's this, Nene? She was born in here, it's very own village. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
How long has the village survived it? Yes, it's on. She don't know. She don't know. Okay. These children, lot of children. Lots of children. The Thailu are very hospitable and welcoming people. Yeah. Very friendly. Not shy. <laughs> they are happy to see strangers and want to talk to them. Hello, uh, Sabadi. Good morning. It's going to make our way back. It is down to about 13 or 14 degrees when we got out of the car. It's getting colder as the day goes on. well maintained these buildings aren't they yeah the roof tiles the village isn't doing too bad all the um tailu villages we've seen it they seem to have everything they need I don't think there's any roads along here. We might have to make our way back down. And the dog there just chilling. Doesn't give one. Hello, Sabadi. <laughs> wow. Yeah, you're home. Yeah, I'm lying. Very beautiful. Uh, 1917 well, not, not 19 <laughs> yeah 20, 2017 17. okay 2017 I asked how long his home's it's, been here so it's only it's five old. years and I, this one's not even complete but I, I think it's really really good that they still continue to build um, in the traditional style. Yeah. This, this old one. That is an old one, yeah. Yeah, yeah. they have money, they build yeah. a new one. But uh, let him know, I, I think it's really good that they continue to keep the traditional style. Yeah, they, yeah. they, they build new, but yeah. they don't build new. change. But they are starting to put more windows in, you ah, see? Yeah, yeah. More windows, yeah. And up there, yeah. Yeah, I'm like. Mm. Yeah, uh, it's not even complete yet, that one. I'm guessing that's rice storage and maybe livestock or something down the bottom, or I'm only guessing, aren't I? Water reservoir there. People have money to build a new home. Yeah, yeah, it was. Yeah. Uh, what the money come from? Yeah, their economy. Yeah. Uh, they do the farm garden, like a veg vegetable, pump, pumpkins, and something like this. Not tea plantation no. like Pung Soli, yeah, but it's here vegetables, it's vegetable or garden. garden. Yeah, and right field, right field. Okay. Yeah. And where where does all that food go? Does it go down into Laos, or is it taken across the border? Huh? Company China company come okay. to pick yeah. up here. Yeah. They they That's come and pick right. it up yeah. from them. Yeah. So they they're not plan and yeah. Everything, choo -choo. yeah, and there you go. The company come to buy yeah. from them. Not like the farmers who have to travel into Bientian and the cities yeah. and, and no, sell no. their food and yeah. 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 So they just grow it. And they c and China comes and picks yeah. it up. The company now export to China. Yeah. And that is bringing new money into the country. That's why they have money to build. Yeah, yeah. They're not just selling it to other Lao people. It's 
selling outside of the country, which is bringing more money into the country. Is that a big cactus there? Look at that thing. Yeah. Yeah, it's got thorns on it. Funny looking cactus. Hey? Economy. Economy is good, yeah. yeah. Looks good uh, from uh, 2016. From all the villages we've seen, the Tai Lu are expert veggie growers. Yeah, like in yeah. The now all of them. Legs. Yeah, and the little stool. Yeah. Yeah, they they're good at those. Yeah. Making them. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> And all their villages seem to be thriving, don't they? Yeah. They've just steered us in this direction. They've got a small viewpoint and a temple up here. So while we're here, and no doubt we'll have our little escort come with us. Our security detail. And there you go. Oh yeah, it's not a bad view from out over here, hey? That's where we ended over in between those buildings. But... The old temple, all closed up where the monks would live. Their little stupa. I don't know what that is. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Ben Jang Dai. Now that's their stupa. Okay, enjoy just off into the forest there. You say ABC? ABC. ABC? ABC. <laughs> I don't know if he's actually saying ABC and it may be some word in his Thailand language but it sounded like he's learning his ABC he just said ABC oh wonderful little children hey well behaved just so happy not scared of the Farang that is the difference yeah okay guys we have to run we have to go This little man is enthralled with the video, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah. Look at that. They're all going. They're all going. Bye bye. Bye bye. What I wouldn't give to have the energy of these kids. We're going now. Bye, Gunda. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. No cookie shops, but the, these kids don't want for anything. They're all healthy. They've all got warm clothes on. Yeah, they know. Yeah. They've got everything here. They just want welcome. They've got everything they want. They've got everything here they need. Their family, their friends. Lots of food. Big, nice, new, big homes. They have everything. Yes, it is just set, set in a dirt street old setting, but that's the way these people choose to live. They could build nice big bread, uh, new concrete homes, but they live to, li to live amongst each other in this community way. Community way. You know what I mean? Just all together in their traditional way. Okay, cup chat. Bye, Gunda. See you, mate. Fist pump.
<laughs> you even know what a fist pump is, don't you? <laughs> Ready? Do again. Again. <laughs> <laughs> Few older ones in uh, down, down too here. Like this is a tiled roof, iron roof, iron roof, yeah. Hey Nene, can you just ask the old gentleman what these are for? Ah, the man, peers. Okay, that's what I thought. They were pears. Oh. See, like these. Gee, they're just newer styles with newer patterns. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> what a friendly little unit, hey? Until this trip, I'd never heard of the, the Thai little people. There's many ethnicities in Laos I still haven't heard of, but... The Punoi, the Tailu, both have been um, outstandingly hospitable, welcoming. The, the villages of the Tailu are just something else. Their homes and how friendly they are and not shy at all. The, the Tailu, they're not shy. Yeah. Yeah, good. Very happy people. There you go, dude. Oh. Yeah. Oh. 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 No, put how, how far? I will maybe it's far. I will look in the map. Now we are here. Now we are here. Yeah, man. More so some, more so some, we are here. This village we come, should be come this way. Oh, too far, too far. Oh. Come to this. Not see any village here. Being really far. More so some. Too far. How long does it take them to walk? We got nothing else, dude. That's all you're getting. You're not getting any more, mate. Yeah, I can't talk it. I can't. I can't talk it. <laughs> can you drive there, can you? But they just ask for money. Yeah, they yeah. just want money. <laughs> yeah. Oh. He's, you're getting your hat dirty, dude. <laughs> yeah. We usually do give out, we usually don't uh, give out donations unless there's parents here, but it seems they followed us up here and we had some beanies. We got to them. The mother's fine with it, but under normal circumstances, we, there's always parents around when we give out things. Except for cookies in some cases. Uh, the mum come up here laughing, wondering where he got his hat from. <laughs> These ladies wanted a, a ride to their village, but it would just show them there's no way. They'd, 
they'd be, bounce off the top of there and she understands. Okay, we go. Oh. What? Ah, okay. By the village or? We'll go for a look if you want. Yeah. I'm a man. I'm a man. I'm a man. I'm a uh, Nina is just giving him a small donation. You've got some. You've got some. No. You need a whole sip on that. What lemon? Sip on any. You need a mummy. Yeah, she's here for it. She's definitely not getting any money now. She's patting me down. Uh, there you go. There's some more. There's some more. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> okay, she's happy now. Okay. It's too dangerous for them to sit on top of the back. They'd break the roller door on it. And if they were hanging off the side with how bumpy this road is, they'd fall off the side. We'll go up here, check out this Akar village. See the difference in the people and yeah. just as soon as we seen the Akar, she started rubbing her hands together just wanting money. Because See? many people, you know, tourists. Many yeah, people tourists come, give them money, give them money then they and know they, they just to... they just think that we are walking ATMs. You know, we're, that's what we're good for, just giving them money. You are better off giving them food and donations if, and clothing if you want to give them something, because it's just turning them into beggars.